hello, people love the internet. My name is Clue see Me. I don't know what that was. And welcome back to another one of my relatively rare uploads. I'm happy to see you here. Welcome back. Glad you could join us. This video is kind of a run on from the last one I uploaded about my trip to Europe. But this one is a list of things that I didn't include in that video. So it's kind of a behind the scenes inside of look. I suppose. Firstly, when we were in the airport on our way to London and we were in China, uh, my Snapchat map displayed that I was in New York, but Brit, who I was with, was still in China, but I was in New York and I couldn't fix it. And all of, I was getting all the New York filters and everything. Whew. Sun's slowly making its way up my body. Great. In the typical spirit of London, I got catcalled by a guy on a motorbike as I was crossing a pedestrian crossing. And I remember he said something weird, but I have tried so hard and I cannot remember what it was he said. And I wish that I remembered. Um, Brett and I went to McDonald's, or well, Macca's is what we call it. Um, in all three countries that we went to, we went to the Amsterdam Macca's, the London Macca's, and the Paris McDonald's. Paris McDonald's was a bit harder to deal with, I suppose, because they read the order numbers out in French. So here's me with my phone googling what my order number was in French so I know what I'm listening for. I also got a tattoo super last minute, like I thought of the design that I wanted and got it done the same day. Because I remember we'd just been to Eminem World and I had been looking them up on Instagram and there was one near us. So I rung them and asked if they had any appointments that day and they told me to come in a couple hours later. So I'll show you a picture of that here. I mean, I like it. While in London, we stayed in three different types of accommodation in three different parts of London. The first one was at Airbnb in Stratford, which we stayed at while we went to Summer in the City. You would have seen, I did like a little tour thing of that on a previous video. So if you haven't seen that, go watch it. There was also our super tiny hotel room in Croydon. And by tiny, I mean there was a bed. Not a lot of room either side of the bed and then a bathroom. And that's, that's it. We also stayed in a hostel in Williston, Green or Williston. I don't know if it was Williston or Williston Green. I just remember that the tube stop was Williston Green. So I paid almost £30 for the aquarium to badly photoshop us into the ocean. I actually have it. I'll show you with some penguins. Basically when this picture was taken obviously we're in a queue of people. So there's people watching us get this picture taken. So it's quite uncomfortable. <laughs> I can't even show you. I'll just take a picture of it and put it here or something just in case it's Horrible. As you would have seen if you'd seen the previous videos, in the middle of our trip we went to each Amsterdam and Paris. So, because we went to Amsterdam and Paris and we were only going for a couple days, we needed somewhere to store our big massive suitcases instead of lugging them around, right? Yes. Good idea. Mm-hmm. Correct. Both times we had to do this, we ran into issues. Before we went to Amsterdam, there was an electrical failure and we didn't get to the place that we were staying and also storing our luggage till about one in the morning and of course we had to leave to catch our flight at five in the morning and me being me stayed up till at least two talking to my mum and my best friend so your girl here got about three hours sleep the day we went to Amsterdam and before Paris all of the trains got cancelled and it was to this day one of the most stressful nights of my life couldn't get in contact with the person that we needed to be in contact with and I had other people trying to help me figure out what I'm going to do. We made it to King's Cross Station and gave up and reached out to a relative we didn't know but we knew existed but she basically came and picked up our luggage and that was sorted. When we when we got back to London after Paris and we obviously she had taken our bags for us so we were staying at a hostel and at the hostel you needed towels to shower and we didn't have those, so this kind lady, super kind, super lovely, um, offered for us to shower at her house. So we caught the tube and we went to her house and went inside and she had a cute dog and that was awesome and we pet the dog and all of that fun stuff. And then we went out to the car because she'd left us her house key and her car key and we went out to the car 
because our suitcases were in her boot and we needed to get all of our stuff out of them. Obviously there was a dog, so we shut the door behind us because we didn't want to let the dog out. And then we grabbed all of our stuff out of our suitcases that we needed, went to go back inside and discovered we had locked ourselves out because of course the door doesn't have a door handle. What kind of door doesn't have a door handle? Um, but not only did we not get to shower, we also managed to lock some of our stuff that we had with us because we'd walked in and obviously put it on the bench and then gone to get our stuff. So we managed to leave my train ticket and my jacket, Brit's phone, her wallet, my headphones and Brit's Kindle inside the house. So it was a really fun train ride home. London is filled with queues. I felt like we, we spent half of our trip queuing. Honestly, there was queues everywhere. We also went to Thought Park, but of course I don't really have footage of that because I wasn't allowed my phone on any of the rides. I'd never been to a theme park before and I'd never been on any sort of ride or a roller coaster or anything and Brit said, Brit reassured me that we would start me off small and then work our way up, right? Then she goes and puts me on Rush. Just in case you've never been to Thought Park, this is Rush. <laughs> So I knew I was bad at decision making, but it got to the point where I am so bad at decision making that I went to Camden Market with Jamie and Em and I couldn't decide what I wanted to eat because there were so many options. So I literally rang my best friend who was on the other side of the world, like she was at home so she was here in New Zealand and I was in London and so it's the middle of the day for me and middle of the night for her and I rung her to ask her what I should eat. Britt and I brought juice on Oxford Street and the guy in the juice place tried to get me to do the haka and if you don't know what the haka is it's a uh i can't even remember what it's called let me google it a maori ceremonial war dance involving chanting and imitation of which is performed by new zealand rugby teams before a match so basically it's the thing that the all blacks do before a rugby game to s intimidate the other team But I didn't know that's what this guy was trying to say and it took me a very long time to figure out what he was asking me to do. After Summer in the City a group of us went to the cable car and while we were in the cable car Jamie was blasting Carly Rae Jepsen from his phone just in case he somehow died and that would be the last thing that he heard so fun fact for you all about Jamie. In our tiny hotel room that we had, the hotel room that we had with the bead in the bathroom and that was it, I managed I managed, it wasn't hard, but I, I finished a jar of Doritos salsa dip with my fingers because we literally had nothing else and it was good. We also watched a couple getting their wedding photos, like legitimate wedding photos, taken in front of the Westminster station sign. So I hung out with Chloe. So we met on Oxford Street and it is raining, like it is fully bucketing down and me, being my Kiwi self, didn't have an umbrella. And I am on the phone to Chloe trying to figure out where she is so we can meet up. And she directed me to the wrong top shop. She directed me to the top shop around the corner from the top shop that she was at. And honestly, I just think there's too many top shops on Oxford Street. There's so many stairs. <laughs> managed to vomit in the Amsterdam airport literally it was we were checking out to leave so we just checked into our flight to fly back to London and so we checked in and I turned around and vomited on the ground great in Paris we almost both Brett and I almost got scammed on our way to the Louvre I nearly passed out in the Louvre I um was standing in line with Brett to get food and a drink because we hadn't I hadn't consumed any water all day at this point because I'm an idiot. A lady had pushed in front of us. We had just got to the front. The lady that pushed in front of us was finishing her order and I, we were standing behind her 
and I just couldn't do it. I was like, I'm going to pass out. So I had to tell Brett, and then I had to go sit down on the floor of the Louvre, just in a hallway. Just I took a seat, just sat on the ground. Typical me, I didn't actually learn any French before we went to Paris. We went to France, and I hadn't learned any French. But I thought it would be a great idea to start a Duolingo French course while sitting in our hostel room. Our flight back from Paris to London uh, was delayed because they wanted to recheck the plane, which is very reassuring of them. I saw the Mona Lisa. Here she is. Look at her go, doing her thing. While we were at our hostel in Paris, we couldn't figure out how to open this one door because we hadn't been that way yet. Kind of struggling with this door and it took us quite a while, but we got there as soon as we got it open. We opened the door and every single person in the reception cheered for us. So they clearly all heard us struggling to open this door. Even the receptionists cheered for us. Um, at the same hostel, there were no forks left and we had breakfast included with our room. So I had to butter my toast with a fork. It worked. I mean, and now I know that it's possible. So if I ever get put in a similar situation. Okay, that's pretty much all I've got. Um, I'm sure there's lots and lots that I'm forgetting, but I have spent ages compiling this list and that's all I have so far. So I'm just going to go with it. Thank you so much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed this inside look at our trip. If you did enjoy it though, feel free to give it the old thumbs up. It does help me out somehow, I suppose, but I'm not really sure, but do that so you can subscribe to see more of this, more or less every week. Although lately, more or less every month, if you're lucky. I'm trying, I'm going to work on it, I'm going to try and work on it. Thank you so much again for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.